All right, I'm gonna finish up my videos on the vertical antenna. And here's the ground wires. Here's what I've learned. Uh, you need to ask the ground wires, okay? Uh, from what I have learned, it's best to go with a red color. It makes them easier to see because you see you got to space them out quite. And it makes it easier to see. And here in a little bit, I'm going to show you a better way than using those con connectors I found. And also how do we eat underneath the wire. All right, I'm going to show you a little bit better way instead of adding uh, stuff to the end of these because if you actually add solder to it when you put it around and tighten the nut down that solder is soft enough where it squinches up and makes even better contact so I'm going to put a little rose resin on here rosin or whatever you want to call it a little flux on the wire to help the help it solder up now I know you could use a soldering gun but out here that just takes too long what I'm gonna do is just simply heat the wire up and get it out over the edge here up in the air maybe I need to uh, get this up a little higher over here yeah, okay and uh, I'm just going to heat the wire up. Where the wire gets thoroughly coated with the solder. So now when I put that bolt through there and tighten it down, it'll smash that solder and wire all together. If you're wondering how I measure out the wire, very high tech method here. Let me get this camera off the tripod. You'll notice that there's just a tape measure sitting out here. All the way out here to 66 foot. And that's how you measure the wire. All right, let me show you a little something I made for weed eating underneath the wires. It's right here. There it is. You can run the wire through it while you're weeding, uh, eating underneath. It keeps the wire from getting tangled up in the uh, brush there. Here in a minute I'll show you how it works. But uh, I've been using pieces of copper pipe as the uh, end pieces to these wires. Look at it. Put a focus. And uh, I just drill a little hole in it, clean it off, and actually solder the end of the wires to the pipe. All right, cleaning the pipe is necessary to get the solder and the wires all to stick together, but also make a little hole to get the wire started and wrapped. Solder does not want to stick to a dirty pipe. So you clean it. That way you can flux it.
right, now I'm going to demonstrate how that what the, how this wire guide works to get up underneath this wire. First off, I would just put you know, put this down, grab the wire and put it through like that. You can see I got it curved so it's easier for the wire to stay in the little groove. That way I can just follow the wire and not have to weed eat the whole field. Okay, now I've been told, I've been told this is not really necessary, but what the heck, might as well. I had the extra pipe. Now, for the end pieces here, I've been soldering the wires to it. Of course, put a little more flux on there. That's why I cleaned the pipe off. So the uh, solder will make an extra good connection. To the pipe. Now these are only foot long pipes. They're mainly to hold it down, you know, so they don't get sucked up or anything. But why not? Why not? I mean, I'm already out here. I've got the stuff. Why not go ahead and make it a really good ground? Now, I'm not going to hammer it right away. I'm going to wait till it cools a little bit. While it's cooling, I'll go over here and do another one. And uh, when that one's done, I'll come back over here and hammer this one down. All right, that's that's how I run at the end of them. And then about every two foot, all the way up, I put a staple in the ground. And that's how I've run the ground wires. This is a, not an easy antenna to install. This is a very labor intensive antenna to install properly. So if you think you're going to do it in a day, <laughs> you better have 10-15 uh, people helping you. Okay, that's it for the finishing of this antenna project.